Hey guys, OKB okay, here. I'm going to show you how to counter 6 pass Nardo in ranked battles. It's actually a pretty simple uh, concept or team, either way. This is the setup that you want to use against 6 pass Nardo, alright? Um, there are different kinds of setups that you can also use. The whole point, the whole point of this setup is, uh, is to increase the cooldown of uh, 6 pass Nardo by 1. Okay, and this is... Um, since 6, six pass Naruto will reduce his own cooldown by 1, uh, that could be a problem, but that's why you, you want to have uh, two of these three ninjas. So, might die. Some people some people have him, some people don't. I prefer using him. Um, he His chase over here, if you, can, if you guys can take a look, high, low, and increases the target Mr. Cooldown by one round. He also uh, grants the selected... Uh, grants some random person an extra attack and himself though so that's kind of nice like you can pop the dodge with one attack and then combo him combo six pass with another attack and then uh high low and you increase his mr cooldown by one that'd be kind of nice and then now i put lee because you you do want to deal a lot of d uh, damage on him and kill him quickly because it's going to fall apart pretty quickly if you leave six pass naruto on the field for a long time okay so you want to you do want to take him down um, and then Shizuka. Shizuka has a knockdown chase. So you guys, you guys can see here, uh, Lee does high knockdown. And so a after Might Die is high low, and then nothing happens, the second high uh, attack from Lee will cause high, and he's going to chase himself, high knockdown. And then Shizuka is going to go knockdown repulse and increase the target's mystery cooldown by one. This works with uh, three star Shizuka, but not two star Shizuka, unfortunately. Um, it, you can also see that she increases her damage to male characters by 40%, which is, you know, nice, especially. And she'll, like, increase her attack and defense a little bit here and there, uh, once she gets hit. Okay, so, oh yeah, uh, last one, Gokido. Gokido, uh, he, she, breakthroughs, with breakthroughs. You need that breakthrough, uh, knockdown low, increases the target mystery cooldown by one. So instead of Shizuka, I could put Gokido, and, um... Lee can go high knockdown, and then Gokido will go knockdown low. Uh, and then I put like eh, Suit Sai is he's he, he's like a field tech ninja. You can put anything you want here, really. Um, Chiruku perhaps. Um, let me put Shizuka back real quick. Uh, Chiruku could be nice because uh, you know might die and Lee. They're both uh, Konoha ninjas. You do want to give them some defense. You know it could help. I put Suit Sai here because uh, I. I have a uh, Kushina over here, Kurenai and Windmane. Oh, and Shizuka. So, um, both of them work. I mean, I could put Suit Sasuke as well. Actually, that would kind of work too. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the <coughs> the concept. But you do want to know that uh, in rank battles, when I have all this set up, uh, Shizuka is going to be targeted in round two for any kind of interruption. So if someone push, puts a Shisui out, it's going to attack Shizuka in round 2. So you're going to have to rely on only Might Die in round 2. By that time, you should be able to do a lot of damage to your opponent's team. And maybe uh, maybe overwhelm them so that uh, 6 pass Naruto doesn't get the best of you. Uh, it, it's still dangerous and it's, it's not a 100% thing. But, you know, it's ring battles. You can go for 5 times a day. Uh, at w one of those times, you'll be able to win i guess and kill six pass naruto okay so i have other teams here you guys can kind of i know some people want uh different teams that they, they can copy so here's my mystery uh mystery talents all that stuff i do chakra coordination to heal and natural draining shadow clone to like stop some uh, multiple uh, multiple character attacks just like field attacks or something dance of impetus she gets interrupted though, <laughs> that's unfortunate, but it's always nice to have that. Um, and then clones, yeah, talked about that. Ninja dogs, always kind of nice to pop the dodge, and then you have a lot of uh, the repulse knockdown, triggered two times, uh, so same thing with the dog of hell, you know, clones cause low, and then uh, the chase here also causes a lot of low, repulse low here, uh, repulse low here, Kurama and Edo Roshi, and then Gara is just for shields, right? And then, you know, I do have partially broken through Kushina 
her mystery is not broken through, which is unfortunate. But <coughs> it still kind of works. Um, Kur and I for a little extra chakra, maybe, in status reflect. Iruka to add damage. You know, suit Sasuke to add damage, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, Kushina, even though she's nice, uh, she's not the most powerful in ranked battles, right? Since it's a 12, it's like a 12 versus 12. Six pass Naruto is better than Kushina, hands down, in uh, ranked battles. Um, yeah, because six pass just uh, he hits a lot of people. Now, the team I'm fighting against uses a lot of dodge, which gets really annoying, in, on, in all honesty, all right? Six pass Naruto. He's in the uh, front, so I aim all my uh, melee characters, all my taijutsu characters. Edo Daidara does hit a lot. Jigukudo can uh, revive somebody. So you want to hope that uh, another team over here is going to hit faster than this team right here. The reason, I'm, the reason I'm not too worried about that is because uh, the position one is usually stacked, which means Lee's not going to combo uh, six pass Naruto that often. All right? Out of the four attacks, maybe one or two will hit, and that's enough. That's not enough to kill him. That's just enough to increase his mystery cooldown. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. Minato. So if you have any sort of dodge ninja or something, you can. And you have Kuruma Naruto. You can have. Uh, you can have Kuruma Naruto pop the dodge, and then use uh, anybody who causes who has a high chance of causing repulse. So Minato's in front of Kuruma. All right. So uh, if you if you attack with Kuruma, he dodges. Uh, Minato dodges, Mi Minato hits Kurama and he dodges, so he doesn't get to use it round one. Then you have uh, in the third, on ra in position three, Ed uh, Roshi has a high chance of causing repulse, and repulse low is here, right? So you manage to immobilize Minato, and it's pretty good because he interrupts people and he skills. Alright, so that's my kind of strategy for the middle team. And then the top team is uh, Shisui, Masked Man in position two interrupting and immobilizing uh, and a pretty powerful chase chase combo very powerful actually and that's actually great for Kushina um, I have so I have a lot of shields from Gara Iruka is constantly creating shields and then suit Sasuke also has shields um, and then we have like suit Sai over here increasing the resistance so that's allowing Kushina to get hit a lot to scale um, so that she can deal a lot of damage back uh, without dying, alright? I'm, I'm also tempted to put Chiruku in here um, and maybe shift Suit Sasuke over here. Uh, but, you know, this team worked for me, so it was okay. Uh, my power is about 21,500 against this 24,300. That, that's a huge difference, actually, in ranked battles because every single team is higher power than you by 30,000, a little more than 30,000. Okay, so this is... This is my explanation of my ranked teams. Go ahead and steal it, all right? Um, I'm all for these weird combination teams that are fun in ranked battles. Um, yeah, let's get started.
行くぞ<笑>行くわよ超重技だ影分身の術逃げ場はない